Hi ESL students, this is Mrs. Blake. Welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to do a video about something I know um, and something I know about is cooking. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get ready to go into my kitchen. So I have long hair so it's always a good idea to put it up because I know you don't want to taste my hair in the food as well. The other thing I want to do is I want to keep my clothes clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on an apron. So here's my apron. It's going to keep my clothes clean and give me a place to wipe my hands while I'm in the kitchen. Um, so let's see. Today I'd like to make my favorite cookies called snickerdoodles. So Whenever I'm in my kitchen, I always follow a recipe. Be Here's my recipe I pulled off the internet here. Uh, it's for my favorite cookies here, Snickerdoodles. So I always want to read everything here, including the top when it tells me the yield. The yield means how many cookies it's going to bake. Well, I have people coming over tonight for dinner and I'm responsible for dessert. So it says two dozen. I know that in a dozen there's 12, so two dozen is 24. That should be plenty for the four adults and two kids here tonight, okay? So the next thing I'm going to look for are my ingredients. It's very important that I get everything out so that I know what goes in my cookies. So my ingredients is everything I need for my cookies. I need butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, flour, teaspoon of cream of tartar, any cream of tartar, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. So let me go get those things from my kitchen. I also have all my tools here. These are the most important things when I'm baking. Um, I have a cup, a tablespoon, and then a teaspoon, and a mixing bowl. But um, looking at these, I want to make sure that I read the ingredients correctly because these are completely different sizes, and if I, I, I mess that up, then I'm going to probably mess up the taste of the cookies. So, now I go back and look at my recipe again. So, here are my ingredients, everything I found on that list. Sugar, flour, vanilla, salt, cinnamon, cream of tartar, eggs, butter, baking soda. So, I have it all set out, ready to get started. Now, if I don't preheat my oven before, then it's not going to be ready when I'm ready to put the cookies in. And I'm really looking forward to some warm cookies. So I'm definitely going to go over to the oven and preheat it to 375. I'm going to look closely at those lines. Somewhere between 350 and 400, there's a line there for 375. Step one's ready. Let's see what step two is in the directions. I need to make the topping for the cookies. I'm gonna to toss a fourth a cup of granulated sugar with a teaspoon of cinnamon in a small bowl and set aside. So toss, if I go on to my resources online, I've looked online, and toss is the same thing as mix. So I'm gonna mix sugar and cinnamon and that's gonna be the top of my cookies. I make sure I have the right measurement, fourth a cup here, put it in my sugar, make sure it's level, Put it in the bowl. I'm gonna do the same thing with the right amount of uh, cinnamon and then mix it together. It's mixed and I'm setting it aside. I'm gonna use it later. Now I'm gonna make the cookies. So in my large bowl, I'm going to cream the softened butter and cream means to make it look like cream. So it starts out looking like a stick of butter. I want it to look more um, like something a dessert would have, creamed. And um, for about a minute, until it's nice and smooth, then I'm gonna add the sugar, and I'm going to mix the eggs and vanilla and scrape down the sides. So, let me go put those things in my mixing bowl and uh, get my hand mixer out. Okay, so it started out as the stick here, and we let it get to room temperature. I cheated a little, put it in the microwave, softened it up for about 15 seconds. Took it with the mixer and made it creamed. It's nice and soft. So now continuing on with the uh, directions, what I need to do is I need to add the sugar on a medium speed until it's fluffy and light in color. So I'm going to do that and show you what fluffy and light in color looks like. All right, it's telling me to set it aside again. So here's the bowl, finished mixing. I'm going to put it up 
that means we're done working with it for now. So now I've got to get another bowl. And what you do in cooking is you put all the dry ingredients together. So let me put all those together and see what's next in my directions. Here's another cooking board. Now we're going to whisk. We're going to use this tool here. We're going to whisk together those dry ingredients before we combine the wet and the dry ingredients together to get ready to make those cookies. All right, here's the fun step. The last one is to roll them into little balls dip them in the cinnamon and sugar from earlier and put them on the cookie sheet. So I'll get those all ready before we put them in the oven. So here they are. Time to put them in the oven. One at a time, one tray at a time. Put them in, set the timer. And there we Say 11 to 12 minutes. I'm going to look at them at 11 and see how, how they look. Yum, there they are. Cooling for the 10 minutes like it says in the recipe. Thanks so much for joining me and letting me share with you about something that I know. Bye.